Hello YouTube, this is Alston with the SecurityCameraGuy.com and today I just want to take a few minutes to answer a question that I've seen pop up um, a few times, especially this past week, um, about the Ring video doorbell working in the cold weather. Um, so just a little bit of background, I live here in Wisconsin and the past week we've had temperatures as cold as I would say about negative 27, so that's 27 degrees below zero. Um, with that, it, it has been so cold, in fact, that um, school was canceled basically, um, I would say, four out of the five days this week. Um, on Monday, we had a snowstorm. We had 7 and 12 inches of snow, depending on where you lived. Um, on Tuesday, kids went to school, obviously. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the temperatures dropped so low that they canceled school. The mailmen and women didn't run. Um, there was no trash collection. Basically, you weren't allowed to be outside um, for longer than like 10 minutes. Uh, there were reports that if you were outside, uh, you could start receiving the first stages of frostbite within five minutes um, if you have exposed skin. Um, and so you really, it was advised not to leave the house. And with that, um, the obvious question is, well, what works and what doesn't work in cold weather? Um, and this picture that you see down here is my ring doorbell on Thursday, which was the coldest day um, of this past week. Um, the, these were record or near record low cold um, temperatures. Uh, these these temperatures hadn't been seen in like 20 or 30 years. It was it was a huge deal. Um, and this is actually my ring doorbell working in this cold weather. Um, this one, this this picture is a motion event that occurred um, so a car drove by and it, it picked it up so um, the good news is the good thing is is that the ring doorbell does work in cold weather in extreme cold weather um, i believe the specifications if you go over to the ring website is um, i think it it's it says it will work, it's guaranteed to work in, in temperatures as low as negative five, uh, but this is negative 27 and it worked without an issue. Actually, there were some issues and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, one of the good things that I noticed um, about the ring doorbell working in, in this temperature was it appeared that it picked up motion events outside of the um, outside of the range so um, with my my video doorbell I have it configured to the the furthest distance which is 30 feet um, if you look in this picture um, just underneath the basketball hoop there is there was an SUV that was driving by that SUV was probably maybe a hundred 150 feet away and the ring doorbell picked it up which is good you know it 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 went well beyond my expectations in, in that regard. Um, so the good news is, is it, it does work. It does pick up motion events. Um, and it, it really, I believe, because the, the temperature temperature between the car and the rest of the, the environment were so extreme, that's why I think it had no problem picking up um, objects or items that were further away. So that was the good news. Um, there were some drawbacks, and again, you can't really blame Ring because A, these were record low colds, uh, B, it was outside the um, specified range, um, and C, I mean, nobody really wanted to be outside in the cold, so it, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, so there were a few drawbacks that I found. Uh, the first drawback was the reduced battery life. Um, second, it seemed like some of the motion events were delayed. Um, third, I think a few events were missed. And then fourth, other times it seemed like it was catching all of the events. Um, so let's talk about the first thing, uh, the reduced battery life. Now, one thing that I noticed, or for me, um, my battery typically lasts about, I would say, three weeks. And the reason why my battery only lasts three weeks is I have the settings configured to the most sensitive, so it, it, the, the motion catches basically any movement. Um, I live in a, in a busy street um, and there are a lot of kids that walk around. So um, the three weeks isn't really that big of a deal. I just take it off and I charge it when needed and then I, I put it back on. Um, with this battery or w during these extreme cold, I noticed a substantial re reduction in battery. Um, so much so that I'm actually going to have to recharge it um, 
today or tomorrow so that it can it can last four or three weeks. Um, and I, I believe that the cold weather probably had a large part to, to, to play in that. Um, and again, you don't really, you can't really blame ring for that, for the weather, but that is something to be aware of. If you live in extremely cold weather, um, like, like we experienced this past week, that may be something that, that may be something to be aware of. Um, another issue that I think, uh, I attribute to the, the weather is the, the delayed motion events. So, and, and what I mean by that is usually, um, as soon as the, uh, an object comes in the field of view, the ring will pick it up. Um, and then, you know, the event will, will, will occur, you know, the recording will occur. Um, this past week, I've noticed a few events would get to the middle of the screen or towards the end of the screen before it would pick it up. Now that does happen occasionally, depending on how fast a car is driving. Or, you know, if someone's running, I guess that that can happen from time to time. But it seemed to happen more frequently in in this past week. Now, that again, that could actually be, I'm looking at it more. I was home most of the week uh, because of the weather. But it just seemed to happen more than usual. So that's also something that you should be aware of. Um, you you may see a delay in, in motion events. Um, so if you're depending on this, this video doorbell for security, um, it, it may you may want to think about something else if it if it's if you are in extreme extreme cold weather. Um, the next thing that I noticed is there were a few motion events that were missed. Now with this, from time to time, my ring doorbell video doorbell does miss motion events, and that that's usually because um, two events happen uh, back to back. So, uh, for example, a car drives by and the ring doorbell catches the first motion event. It records for 30 seconds, and then on second 32 or 33, another car drives by or, or a kid walks by or something like that. The ring doorbell may miss that motion event from time to time, but with the cold weather, it seemed to have, it seemed that a lot more events were were missed um, over this, this week period. Um, so that's something that's a little bit concerning and, and to be um, cognizant of. But again, this is record low cold weather. Um, I don't imagine that anywhere except for like Minnesota or North Dakota, uh, somewhere that is um, very cold all the time or most of the time is going to experience something as extreme as negative 20, negative 40. Um, so maybe take all this with a little bit of a grain of salt. Uh, the next thing that I, I kind of noticed is Sometimes it missed motion events, and then other times it kept, caught too many events. So if something was happening, um, if there was like a little bit of movement, the uh, motion would trigger. If if snow fell, the motion would trigger. Um, from time to time, it, it seemed like it was catching a little bit of everything. And the only way I I realized this is I was actually looking outside, and I was, um, you know, just kind of checking out the the weather um from from my home from inside my home and i noticed i would get these notifications you know your your video doorbell uh, motion detected or, or whatever so you just kind of <clears throat> and again a lot of this probably is attributed to the extreme weather um, it's causing some extreme results in your video doorbell or at least my video doorbell uh, but the overall theme of of this video is i just wanted to pop it and say hey your, the good news is that your ring doorbell does work in the cold weather or it will work in the cold weather if you're considering to buy one. Um, but the bad news is, is if you experience extreme weather, um, you may want to get either additional cameras or you may want to look at something else that might be designed for the, for the cold weather climate. Uh, head on over to uh, the securitycameraguide.com. We have a ton of articles that talk about all things security cameras. Um, there we doc, we discuss, um, CCTV cameras, power over ethernet cameras, video doorbells, um, indoor cameras, outdoor cameras. We really cover it all over there. So head on over to the security camera guide.com. Take a look. If you have any questions, leave them in the, uh, comment section below. Be happy to answer them. Um, make sure that you like and subscribe this video. Um, so I can keep providing great content. Uh, but. Once again, this is Alston with the Security Camera Guy, and thanks for watching.